Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer. Sorry I'm looking at screens here to get things set up. Checking mic, music's good. I think music's good. Hopefully I'm, music's good. Get the calcs open. Uh, bringing PCF Week 5, playing Fancify. Um, Fancify, oops. Fancify open let's get this challenge going for this week five is the team i need we're gonna challenge so i again i haven't played my week four match i'm actually playing that tomorrow but as far as you guys are concerned that's already been played go check out the team builder you'll see it but uh yeah as far as i'm concerned hopefully we're picking up our second one as far as you guys are concerned maybe we're picking up our third um, we're rocking out with the team, um, from the Team Builder yesterday, um, uh, I'm waiting for Fancify, there we go, okay, so Registeel and Buzzwell are both there, as is a wish-passing thing, um, don't see Gyarados, which is nice, um, sorry about that. I'm just trying to look here. I'm pretty sure that's Scarf Crook. I do have to watch out for Scarfed um, Voltergeist. There's A Drive Calls. I'm trying to think of his name. Rotom. That's it. And I'm pulling up Phoenix Cup here. So I expected Nihilego. I expected the Crook. I thought I was going to see. Uh, couple of other things. Registeel being there is going to be a nuisance. I'm going to have to set up and blow it back. Um, luckily, uh, Espeon does beat it 1v1. Um, West Virginia Wingles. So, uh, I don't see as soon as this thing loads his team. Um, I am going to lead Zeraora um, and then switch into Gyarados if I need to. But Zeraora will allow me to pivot um, fast pivot. So no Gyarados, which I'm glad to see. No Thunderous. No Mew. I really thought Mew was coming. No Whimsy, which is great. Um, so I should be able to do some stuff. We're going to lead off Zara Aura, though. If that Crook comes as his lead, then I know I'm going to be dealing with Scarf. Yep, so that's... I'm guessing that's scruff, Scarfed Crook. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to go into Gyarados. If he stone edges, good play. But I'm going to go into Gyarados right away. And hopefully Scarf lock him into Earthquake. This was the lead I had issues with. Um, but I should be okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he Scarfed Crook. 311. I am faster than it. If he's not Scarf Crook, then I can beat him pretty easily. Um, with Gyarados. I'll just Mega so I don't take a Stone Edge. And then he's also going to get Intimidated to lose his, because I think I'm Intimidate. I hope I'm Intimidate, because I built as standard Gyarados. I am Intimidate Gyarados. Okay. So that's good. Now, if he goes in Stone Edges, this is going to hurt. I want to see, actually, what that does. So, Gyarados... Gyar... Gyar... How do you spell Gyarados? G... There we go. I cannot spell Gyarados. Um, from a Crocodile. Crocodile, assuming this is Scarfed Crook. Stone Edge hurts, but does not kill me. Um, and then when I Mega Evolve... Um, Yeah, so then once I Mega Evolve, like, Waterfall is going to do a ton to him. Um, so I am going to switch into my Gyarados here. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Earthquakes. All right. So he is at minus one attack now. Um, Mega Evolve and Waterfall here. I have no reason not to. Actually, could I D-Dance on him? I could D-Dance because he's minus one. He can't really hurt me. 
I can Mega Evolve and D-Dance on this thing. If Registeel wants to come in, fine. But I'm going to Mega and D-Dance. Registeel, all right. So I should be faster than this thing. Registeel. Assuming it's that Registeel, my Mega Gyarados Earthquake at plus one does 71 to 84 percent. He can drop a Toxic, which is gonna suck. But I'd rather get the big damage off, so we're gonna go ahead and Earthquake. 62, so he is defensively invested. Um, so that did 62%. So he's not fully Spadef Invest. Let's go ahead and drop the Spadef down. Let's boost his defense here. I'm going to change him to Bold Nature. Not Bold, because um, he's a physical attacker. Let's change him to... I don't know which one I need to change him to. Plus Defense, minus Special Attack. Where is that one? What nature is that? Plus Defense. Uh, plus defense minus special attack. Where are you? Impish. That's it. Impish. Okay. So, uh, Impish. So, if Impish max max. Um, max HP, max defense would give him the ability to take 62%. I have no reason not to Earthquake again, except for maybe Rotom coming in. Oh, duh, I can do that, because Mold Breaker. I break Levitate. Buzz Swole. That thing's bulky. Um, so from Buzz Wall, I go into... Let's see. Buzz Wall, bulky Buzz Wall. Yeah, he's got to be the he's got to be almost max HP impish to do uh, that kind of damage at plus one. I only did seventeen. No, he's not fully defensive, or doesn't have that much defense because I would have done fifteen max there at plus one. Uh, eighty-two percent. He's gonna kill me with hammer arm if I go there. What's he do to Shandy? If he Earthquakes, I'm in trouble. Chandelier, custom set. Earthquake does not kill me. I would be faster and could Fire Blast him to kill him. So I think going into Chandelier is my best bet. Here. Conversely, I go into Nine Tails, which is not great. I go into Tyrantrum, which is not a good switch. I think I'm going to have to go into Shandy here. Leech life, that's fine. He crit me. Uh, this is gonna draw. This should draw Nihilego in. Said sorry for the crit. Doesn't matter to me. Um, that would have been perfect to be fire or flash fire. Um, what's coming in here? Nihilego is coming in. It's got to be Nihilego. He doesn't or Kruk. Ah, crap. Is it Nihilego or Crook? Uh, Nihi... Uh, Nihi comes in and... Energy Ball is my best play. Crook comes in. Energy Ball is also my best play. I don't kill with either one. I don't kill either one with Energy Ball. And then... I'm gonna have to probably sack something to Crook in order to... survive. So I am gonna Energy Ball. If he EQs from Buzz Wall... EQs from Buzzwall, I go, I will die. Do I Fire Blast just to make sure this dies? I'm going to Fire Blast, knowing he's probably got Earthquake. If he switches, so hoops. Audino, alright. Audino. Let's go... 
Mega. I did 38%, so he's not, like, defensively and spadefly invested. Z Fire Blast, I think, is going to get him here, and I have no reason not to with uh, Registeel so weak. Just to drop the uh, Inferno Overdrive here. Music, don't be skipping on me here. Or Inferno Overdrive, easy bake. Oh, nice, nice, nice waste of my Z move. So, Rotom Heat. Uh, Rotom Heat. I. Let's see. That did. He's defensive Rotom then, because I did 38% there. Let's see if we can figure out what his set is here. This has got to be extremely defensive, Rotom. He's got to be max max. Max special defense. Mm, so what would he compromise then? Attack. Plus Fidelph minus attack. Plus Calm Nature. Calm Nature is what did it. And I low rolled on that. Turn it basically ro low rolled. So. At this point. Do I go into Espeon? And. Espeon would be pretty good. He could overheat me. And then I Moonlight, or I set up the Calm Mind. I am faster than, no, because I haven't identified if that's Scarf Crook or not. Um, I'm faster than this thing. Um, I think I'm going to go into Zero Aura, because then I can Volt Switch around uh, if need be. Zara, Zara Aura, my custom set. If he overheats, it hurts. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch back. He, he can't overheat Toxics. Okay. So going into Espeon there would have been great. Um, now, what's he bringing in on this crook? I'm going to knock off. Hit whatever's coming in on me. Hopefully it's the Crook, and then I get rid of its Scarf, because if it is Scarf Crook, then once that dies, I guarantee outspeed it with both. And he stayed in, knocked off the lefties, Pain Split, that's interesting choice. Um, well, if that's what he wants to do... Then I think I'm going to go into Espeon here, so he's Pain Split Toxic. I determine he's max spadef. I could go into T Tar. Or not T Tar, Tyrantrum. Uh, I think I'm going to Volt Switch into Espeon. See what he wants to do here. He's going to Volt Switch. It brings in the Crook. This would be an easy way to find out if it's Scarf Crook, though. Zero Aura does not do a lot this match. So if I if he goes Crook and I have to sack something to a Scarf Crook, I think Zero Aura... Yep, here's Crocodile Dundee. So getting rid of um, Zero Aura is my best play here. I have to, unfortunately. I need Gera. 
and it can't the earthquake will get it um i have no earthquake immunity now kind of wish i had mandibuzz uh, mandibuzz might have been good for this match but not necessarily every time this crit comes in it's going to force me to sack something is the problem had i stayed in with zara aura in close combat and I would have killed this crook. And I know he's not Moxie, so he can't be Moxie Scarf Sweep type set. He might not be. Um, Pursuit. Okay. So now it becomes as he scarfed. Losing Espeon hurts. Um, I'm just going to close combat. And hope that he is choice locked. Because if he is, he switches. If he's not, he EQs, but I'm faster and he'll die to close combat. Basically, everything on his team is weak to close combat. Easy bake. He is Scarf Rotom. Okay. So he is Scarf Rotom. That's good to see. Um, he's not, or not Scarf Rotom, he is Scarf Crook. So that's good to know. That means I can, he's going to have to sack switches eventually. Um, I don't see a reason not to just knock off at this point. Um, it should kill. Let's take away your uh, item here. This 22 to 26, so it's guaranteeing a kill, and the knockoff will take an item away from anything that tries to send, come in except for Idino. I really want to get the uh, items off of his, his team, so I'm going to go ahead and knock off. I'm not going to Volt Switch. We're going to knock out Easy Bake with that. Toxic. So bring in the Scarf Crook. I'm going to let Zara Aura go down to the Scarf Crook, force him into Earthquake. Nine Tails comes in. Puts pressure on. I knew, yep, there's Scarf Crook. So I knew this was coming. We're going to go ahead and just close combat. He's going to EQ. I'm going to see that he's Scarfed. If he tries, yeah, so he's Scarf Crook. Nine Tails comes in, immediately pressures. I could set up Veil. I think I want to hit. Do I set up Veil? Nine Tails. Custom set versus Crook. Scarf Crook, because I know he's scarfed. Um, EQ to 76%. He can't Stone Edge because I'm faster. If I set up Aurora Veil. Um, his EQ does 32%, and then Nihiligo comes in. Let's assume it's Scarf Nihiligo. Um, I two-shot. Well, he two-shots me, actually. Ah, uh, Nihiligo's got to be coming in. Nihiligo. I'm going to Blizzard. But Nihiligo has got to be coming in here. Either that or Registeel, which Registeel won't take two blizzards. Shouldn't take two blizzards. Okay, so there's that. So Registeel. Um, he's not Spadef Invest, he's Defense Invest. Um... Trying to find the one I need here, plus defense, my impish nature. So I don't do anything to him here. Um, I mega too soon, I think. I needed to not Mega, and that was something I had written in my notes was don't Mega too soon. 
Um, if he's got flash cannon, he kills nine tails, and then I really have no check to that. He has EQ, I've seen it. Gyarados. Earthquake. So Gyarados can take the Earthquake and then threaten. I think that's where I'm going to go, is I'm going to go back into Gyarados and threaten. Oh god, he's Rest. Resto Chesto. So... I am going to D-Dance. I'm going to D-Dance here. Buzzwall comes in. Can't do anything about that. Last time he leech lifed. That's Tyrant from Dude to Buzzwall. Double head smash. Earthquake's not gonna kill me. I can double head smash and kill him. It's a plus one, do. Plus one has a better shot, but he's gonna kill me. I'm going to have to D-Dance, and then Head Smash just to blow that thing. If it's got Roost, I'm in trouble. Drain Punch, kills. Fucking Buzzwall. I hate this stupid Mon. See, I dropped Buzzwall, and I knew Buzzwall was going to be a pain in the ass, and I told everybody that Buzzwall was a pain in the ass, because it is a pain in the ass for me. This is going to draw the Crook in again. I just have to hope I hit a Fire Blast. If I miss this Fire Blast, this match is over. Oops. Okay, well, we're going to Fire Blast again. This team is stupidly defensive, and I have misplayed extremely hard. I shouldn't have Volt switched on the Rotom. I think that might be... If I lose this game, that's where I lost it, was Volt switching on the Rotom. Wish pass into the crook, please. Wish pass into the crook. Please wish pass into the crook, or let this thing die. One or the other. Either wish pass into crook, or let this thing die. Okay, so we got the spadef drop on that. Nihilego. Assume Scarf versus Gyarados. I need to learn how to spell Gyarados. Uh, you can't kill me with anything. Can he two shot me? Sixty nine percent. He can't two shot me, assuming that. So I'm gonna go into Gara. Gara should draw Buzz. Which then draws in Shandy. Oh, that did a lot more than it was supposed to. Why did that do so much? Is he Specs? Is he choice specs? 
Even that shouldn't have done that much. Modest? No, he shouldn't have done that much to me. How did he do so much with that? How did he do so much with Nihilego? Power Gem should not have done 45%. Beast Boost Choice Specs Power Gem should have only done 30% to me. He didn't crit. That should have only done 30% to me. Oh my god, I had Aurora Veil vale on. Oh, I had Aurora Veil vale on on my calcs. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I got five. Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking misplayed so hard. Volt switching on the Rotom. Volt switching on the Rotom was just so stupid. I had no reason not to knock off, or close combat. Or not to knock off. I was already toxic. I knock off. He Volt switches. I absorb it. He's taking the knockoff damage. Now he's got a hard switch. And then I put, with the knockoff again, I put him in range of another knockoff. I had no reason to Volt Switch right there. I had no reason to Volt Switch. Absolutely no reason to Volt Switch. God damn it. I had no reason to Volt Switch. GG fancy. See, guys, this is the stupid shit that I do every week that costs me. This is the stupid shit I do every week that costs me. <sighs> guys, please learn from my... Please learn from this. Don't do what I did. Learn. Get better than me. Hopefully we can pick up another win. I hope we win week four. I really hope we've won week four because this is just going to hurt if we didn't win week four. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.